Hi everybody, this is Julie Bean with Beadaholic, and in this video I want to teach you how to make your own bead patterns using the graph paper that you can get for free at Beadaholic.com. So I have a blank sheet under this one that I've already done. So this is what the blank sheet looks like. And you can just download it right from our website. It's totally free. And it's got all of these little like bead shapes, basically these little ovals, and they're staggered in the same pattern that would be for a peyote bead stitch, whether you're doing even count or odd count. So they're a little staggered, which is what happens naturally to your beads when you do the peyote stitch. So I'm gonna show you the finished example, and then I'm gonna walk, walk you through how to make one yourself. Okay, so here is what I've already done. Basically, I came up with my color palette, which is these three beads right here. So we have a white, we have a bluey purple, and we have like a coral orange. And so that I knew was gonna be my color palette. So what I ended up doing was going in and finding some colored pencils that matched. And you can see, I just have this one here, which is kind of that orangey color. I have a blue, and then I have a white. And it seems strange perhaps to put a white on a white paper, but it might be a little hard to see here on camera. You can actually just see it enough to let you know that a bead goes there. So I do recommend still using the white. And you can see here, I made the pattern and it matches the piece of stitching I did. So we see we've got the tapered ends on both sides, which are represented here. And we've got the pattern with these like um, triangles coming together and diamonds in the same colors as my bead weaving. And I ended up making them into a little pair of earrings. So if you were starting out with your graph paper, your paper right here, which is your uh, beading pattern paper, and it's gonna be blank. I'm gonna share a few tips to help get you started when you're doing these patterns. So I had an idea that I wanted to do an earring. So I knew I wanted a tapered pattern because I wanted to be able to hang a jump ring from it. Now you have columns and rows. So when you're figuring this out, your columns, I'm just gonna write it up here, are these ones here. This is, these are your columns. So you can see that right there. So you've got columns going down, and then your rows are what's gonna be going across. So when you read a peyote bead pattern, that's how that works. You've got columns and rows. So people might say like for this one here, this is odd count. It is seven columns wide. So it basically takes up seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's my seven columns and then it's a certain number of rows. Now, one of my tips when you're making your own pattern is don't start at the very top because you might change your mind on what you want to do with your design and want to add something or alter the design a little bit. So I like to start somewhere around here. It's about one fourth of the way down. And so I'm gonna just start to fill in a little oval and that represents one bead. And since I knew I wanted this tapered design, of course I did the pattern first and then I did the finished piece. We just have the luxury that the finished piece is done here so we can refer to it. But to create a tapered design, I went up to my center row since it's seven columns wide. The middle one is number four. So I got one, two, three, four. And then I start working my way down. Now, I knew I wanted to do some diamond type patterns. So the way I usually start a pattern is I just start up top and then I just start filling it in. So you can do this in any number of ways, but here we go. You just fill those in to make your design. There we go. And then you just start playing. And that's the fun part. So I did this one here but you could do whatever you want. You could say, well, I want a stripe of blue down the middle. Okay, so make a stripe of blue down the middle. Maybe you say, well, I want it to be all diamonds. Okay, so then come over here and start making more diamonds, just paying attention to where your edges are. So this here, these are our edges. So you just don't want to extend your pattern beyond that. 
but you can keep going and do whatever you want. It's really fun, you just get to play. And then maybe you want an edging of blue when you make your pattern. So just color in however you want it. And then you just start building like that and you fill it in. And of course, I just did three colors. You could do four, five, six, seven. Just find a matching colored pencil for each of your colors. And then just make yourself a little color swatch on the side to make sure that you know what colors you're using and they match your beads. And that really is all there is to it. Now, if you're doing a bracelet, it's probably gonna extend beyond here. So what I would recommend there is you just either have a repeating pattern, so you know that say when you get down to here, the pattern just repeats and you just keep going. That is something I often do. But if your pattern is completely unique all the way through, just print out another piece of paper, continue and just uh, cut it right here and tape it to it. You might have a really long sheet, but that's totally fine. So that is how you use this pattern paper that we have at beetaholic.com to make your own patterns. And then you'll be able to make your fun designs and have them come to life when you use beads with them. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video on making your own patterns using some just simple colored pencils and some fun printed paper. And if you wanna see other tutorials like this, please do go to beetaholic.com and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm.